Hello and welcome to another exclusive Good E-Reader video. This is Nick. And this is Marcus. Today we have the Motorola Zoom. This is the Verizon model and we're going to give you a general overview of the device. Okay, so before we go in, we want to go in and show you a lot of the programs and features. I just want to give you some specs on the device. It's the first tablet employing Google Android 3.0 and this is a new operating system by Google. It was designed specifically for tablets and the Motorola Zoom right out of the gates is the first tablet to use this. It's a 10.1 inch capacitive full color touch screen. It has a resolution of 1280 by 800, so resolution wise, it's very good. It also has an aspect ratio of 16.9 for movies. It has a NVIDIA Tegra 2, it's a dual core 1 gigahertz processor. It has 1 gig of DDR2 RAM, and it also has 32 gigs of internal memory. You can further enhance this via the SD, micro SD card that you can put here. It doesn't come with one, so you would have to put your own in there. It has dual cameras, and this is a very exciting feature. It has a 2 megapixel front-facing camera, so this would be used for video conferencing, Skype, things like that. And it has a rear-facing 5 megapixel camera, and it has an LED flash. You can also see here that it has uh, two dual stereo speakers audio quality is, is very good. Now you saw that we flipped it between landscape and portrait mode. This does it relatively pretty quickly and it's three axis so it'll do 360 degree rotations. So this is good for reading books programs but for the most part you will be holding it in landscape mode. It will do videos full 1080p and it'll support a large number of formats including MPEG-4. Uh, same with audio, if uh, listening to tunes is your thing. It'll do MP3s and a lot of other formats, um, AAC, things like that. It has full internet capabilities, so it'll do... This is the Verizon model, so it'll do 4G on, wire, on Verizon. It'll also do Wi-Fi, so if you're not with Verizon, you can hook it up to your local Wi-Fi network. Motorola will be putting out a Wi-Fi only model sometime in the next few months. And if you want to take advantage of Verizon's LTE network, which is their new high-speed network, you'll actually have to send in your Zoom to a Verizon shop in order for them to do a hardware upgrade. So you won't be able to just do a software upgrade for the LTE network. You will have to definitely bring your Zoom in and uh, be without it for a few days or a week. This is what Motorola has told us. As far as battery life, it'll do about eight and a half hours. And it beats a lot of its competition doing that, such as the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Although the Apple iPad is the one to beat at about 9 hours of battery life. You can get a little bit more battery life out of it if you disable the 3G functionality. And you can get about 10 hours by just having Wi-Fi on. If you turn Wi-Fi off and you're just, say, listening to music and things like that, you'll actually get about 3 days out of it. And if you're just watching video with everything turned off, you should get about 10 hours. So, of course, it does have built-in GPS and things like that. Let's take a look at some of the hardware features. So, you notice on the bottom, we have a micro USB slot. We have a mini HDMI slot. We have a power uh, adapter input and this is an indication light right here and the it comes with the DC power adapter with the Motorola Zoom exactly and these are two Torx screw screw screws so if you need to get the device off don't just use a Phillips or a a uh, flathead or anything you would need a special screwdriver for that and on this side you have your volume up and down nothing at all on this side and then on the top you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and this is a this is kind of a two a, a dual use slot this has your sim card and your micro SD card that would go in there yeah kind of a cool design feature to have both the SD and the sim card in the same slot 
speakers on the back, 5 megapixel camera, and flash. And the power slash lock button is also on the back. Yeah, we found right away, hardware-wise, having the power on the back is a little bit uh, disjointing, just merely because you might be able to set this up or down and inadvertently hit it. It would have been nice if it was like somewhere on the side here, like most tablets, or on the front, but we're, we can't, we're not going to knock it for that. So, of course, with Android 3.0, you can get, by just holding down the screen here, you can set up your widgets, you can set up shortcuts, wallpapers, you know, uh, shortcuts for YouTube and things like that. You can see all sorts of different things you can do here, as well as you can set up app shortcuts, wallpapers, and more. So it does both scrolling wallpapers and live wallpapers. So what that really means is that you can see here as we're moving it, the background images are kind of moving along with it. So this is mainly how it default looks right out of the box, minus the three applications we have at the top here, Facebook, Angry Birds, and ES File Explorer. The Motorola Zoom actually did not come with a file exploring type of program, so you might want to download Astro or ES File Explorer in order to access media that you may transport to the device. Uh, let's take a look at some of the options here, like the web browser. We found that the web browser, super fast, as well as typing on a device is good. It supports multi-touch. So we can certainly type pretty easily what, some of the bugs with this device so far is when the device shipped, and we're early adapters here at Goody Reader, we get all the devices right away. So the micro SD card, there's no functionality there yet, as well as there's no flash on the device, but they'll be providing over the air updates shortly to do that. It supports pinch and zoom, and you can see that it's very responsive. We review a lot of tablets here at Goody Reader, and often the responsiveness in pinching and zooming is very lackluster in a lot of cases. And if you watched any of our most recent videos where we covered any of the velocity tablets, pinching and zooming was a nightmare. Uh, one of the things that you might want to know so far without the functionality of Flash is when you launch videos embedded into blogs, it'll actually load up the YouTube player here. <clears throat> So you want to bear that in mind. So you saw web browsing. It's a, it's a it's really fast. It, we're definitely really digging it so far. As well as you have the Google Books application that comes with it. And it does come with a few books. Let's take a look at, I don't know, Wonderful Stories for Children by Hans Christian Andersen. So I guess it takes a few seconds for it to load. Look at that. It looks like a book. Yeah, this is um, very much like the Apple iBooks application, but we find that just this is a lot smoother. Being able to actually peek on what's on the other uh, on what's on the other page. Also, you can kind of just click it, and you can see the page turns are very fast. Exactly. And there is indeed orientation, but this would be more of just the the one page kind of turns when it's in this uh, this orientation. You don't really get the bind like you do in the landscape orientation. Yeah, so it's it's personal preference, of course, on what orientation you want to do that. I found for the most part holding the device in in landscape modes. The most popular format because it allows you to sort of hold it on both sides or just hold it on the bottom. Portrait mode, again, is just a, a matter of sort of personal preference. Of course, it comes with all the Google applications, Gmail, Google Talk, Music, and the Android market. There's roughly about 100 applications or so that were designed specifically for the Motorola Zoom.
and you can see here that Honeycomb Google 3.0 actually has not only Android apps that you can do, but it also has bookstore integration. And this is something that the Google market for non-Android 3.0 devices don't have, but the web version of uh, Android market does have this. So you can browse for books, purchase books and download them. And soon Google will be doing both music and video as well. So it will be more or less the all-in-one portal. If you want to access your full program screen, there's an apps thing here on the side. You can simply click on that and see all of uh, your applications. Since we only have one screen, it won't let us slide back and forth. We have installed Eldico as well as Angry Birds, and it comes preloaded with a few other games, uh, Cordy and uh, Dungeon Explorer. You also have a GPS navigation app for turn-by-turn -turn pages. Let's just hit the settings. You can see that the settings menu in Android uh, looks a lot better than any of the other tablets, mainly because, again, this was set up for tablets. So we really kind of like the way that it was slickly designed you can set up your mobile networks, configure your Wi-Fi, do all the, the quintessential necessities. A lot of the, the menu systems here remain the same. Let's just take a look at about this tablet. And if you zoom in a little bit here, you can, uh, proof is in the pudding folks, Android 3.0. We really hope that we see more of this on the settings menu on tablets. I know when we were at CES and we hit the settings menu on a lot of tablets that we were seeing things like 1.6, 2.0. Yes. Yeah, you know, when new tablets are coming out and they're set up on Android 1.6 1, 1, you know, 1 to 2.0, it's very discouraging. We're very happy that things are starting to be a little bit more 2011 get with the times yeah so of course you know all of your privacy options and things like that if you've had Android devices before you know more or less what's in the settings menu you know you have applications like your clock you can set up an alarm and you can also set up the way that it looks digital and analog let's take a look at the gallery you can see some pictures, very high resolution. You can see double tapping, you can zoom in and zoom out. So you, it does do pretty nice pictures. So that's kind of going full screen. You can kind <laughs> of check out what's going around here. These all open source pictures, mind you, stock footage. Definitely. Let's take a look at what movies look like on here. This is a full 1080p video. So this is just a stock footage of an aquarium, free open source. But you can see that there's, there's no lag, it looks really good. We have a feeling that when more things like Netflix become available for Android and other music sharing services, you're really going to get a lot of good quality things going on. Although you can copy your own movies to here, but it does not do AVI format. Unfortunately, it's only supporting about four formats at the moment, including the, the one of the mainstream formats, MPEG-4. Yeah, it also does H.263 and H.264. So a lot of movies that you get aren't available in this format, so you want to employ a video editing type program or exactly. file converting programs in order to do that. But you can see that it does not look too bad. And you can see here you get live things of the last apps, uh, the Google Android 3.0 and Motorola Zoom do multitasking. So you can see these are the last few things that we did. So if you wanted to like access any of that, you can just click here, get out of the video and go back to the market. And again, it's full Android market. So you can get all of the apps that you want. And let's take a look at some of the other things that it has. 
you have a movie editing application and this is really good if you saw the first zoom commercial that was done by Super Bowl it allows you to do timelines it allows you to sort of put together uh, your own sort of video so this is exciting we haven't really messed with this yet but stay tuned to another good e-reader video and we're going to give an advanced app review of all these sort of applications we just more or less wanted to show you what this is sort of all about it's very slick as far as the design you can see everything just moves tremendously fast let's take a look at a perennial favorite here in the goodie reader offices angry angry birds yeah this tablet is not making me angry like a lot of tablets do so my angry level is not as high as it normally would be so see there's like no lag this is the NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor at its best. That's a great shot there, Marcus. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to prove how fast this That's is. That's not the level of skill we have here at Goody Reader. So, it does come with some other games, such as a Dungeon Explorer. Defenders. Dungeon Defenders. And so some of these games take a little bit to load, but you can see that it gives you some pseudo 3D uh, effects in here, which is kind of nice. So we'll just kind of let this load. And this is kind of more of, this is more than just your usual point and click game. You actually do have to hold the device much like you would a controller and uh, use your thumbs much like you would on a physical buttons whereas this would be on the screen itself so. and we had to have the sound down so let's just give you uh, an indication of what it looks like with the speakers coming out and this is the quality of just a preloaded game on the device why don't you move around a little bit and hold it like you would a controller and it is full multi-touch so he can command the movement and the attacking at the same time full camera movement full 3d graphics yeah and Mind you, we haven't killed any of the other apps that we're running, so everything is still running. All the browser, uh, the movie editor, we haven't cancelled all those. Those are just in the background. And he's got full uh, gameplay ability right now. Yeah, so I mean, this isn't too bad. And considering we have the speakers facing down, yeah, because the speakers are on the bottom, you can still hear everything pretty good. So yeah, Dungeon Defenders, it's uh, one of those 3D kind of pseudo 3D games and it's looking really good and again this is a game that's mainly made for tablets and Android 3.0 so we're hoping to see more than a uh, hundred uh, applications and games made for it so yeah we'll just exit out of there but a uh, very good game to have bundled it really shows off the, Z the zooms capabilities as far as being able to render pseudo 3d type games and uh, word has it that unity is a game company and they're actually importing a, th a their really tight game engine to android so we should really see with android 3.0 and especially tablets having you know dual core processors they're starting to have more than just 512 mb of ram 256 mb of ram like a lot of tablets that we see here this is one gig so it's um the future's boding well for being able to game effectively on tablet devices let's just look at some other things that we have here a lot of people say you know they're happy with buying books online and of course you can install the kindle the kobo barnes and noble applications but what about if you want to import your own books this is a popular program uh, Eldico and if you want to import your own books you hook it up to your computer via the micro SD here and you can just put the book in whatever folder you know that you would like and if you have Eldico it's this version is not made towards the Motorola Zoom it's a basic version so you hit the home button you can type in SD card and when you hit that it actually accesses the device's internal memory so if you want to copy EPUB books which is Eldico it, it reads EPUB books the best you can just sort of click here Stephen King in the cell this is a book we had downloaded and put onto the device just in the root of the device we haven't put it in any sort of folder or anything right 
Yeah, so it was just in a root of the device just to, to test the functionality of it. So you can sideload your own books with LDECO, even though that the micro SD card isn't functional right now, you can still load to the device memory. Now you can see that there's really no page turning animations with this. It's just the way that the app was designed. But it does do you know, page turns and all that sort of thing. And it's formatted properly as you get the paragraphs and the the virtual bind in the middle of the book and there doesn't seem to be too much problems with the formatting of it. the readability isn't hindered by anything. For sure. And you could like of course lock the orientation if you wanted to. You could increase the font. So you can see that the even though it's not really giving you indications on what size you are, you can see that just play it by eye. Yeah. So you can find out, depending on um, if you need glasses, uh, how old you are, how you know how you like your text to be. This gives you a lot of freedom. So if you want to sideload in your own books, this is a good program to have. It's called El Eldeco. It's a free download from the Google Android Market. And right now you saw how we went into the SD card. That's strictly just because the SD card doesn't really work on the Motorola Zoom right out of the box on the first launch, but that'll all get corrected in the future. Right. So of course, again, when you get your Motorola Zoom, you do want to download a file browsing utility such as EL, ES File Explorer or, or uh, Astro. So we've mentioned that before. Uh, Google Maps looks solid. It You can do the whole 3D uh, effects on it. We'll go step by step in a further video and really dive deep into the apps. We just wanted to give you more or less an overview of the device, what you can expect from pulling it out of the box for the first time and doing everything like that. Of course, with YouTube, you can watch full 1080p videos, 720. You can edit them with Movie Explorer and install all your favorite apps like Facebook, Eldeco, Angry Birds, and everything else. So the Motorola Zoom, in our opinion, I really like I really like it so far. It's super fast. It really takes advantage of the Tegra 2 processor. Even though that we had 6 to 10 apps open, everything is still robust. It's stable. We haven't had any crashes yet, and we've been playing around with this for about 6 or 7 hours so far. Web browsing is a treat. Pinching and zooming is good. The orientation is super good too. It's not as fast as we've seen in other tablets. I know when we played around with the Elocity A7, I think it, it really beat this that out. That orientation sw swap on the Elocity was strangely fast for a tablet in that price range. Mm -hmm. And it also had uh, a dual core processor as well. So overall, I really like this device. What do you think of it, Nick? This is definitely a win in my books. It's got everything I like. It's got... Uh, it's it's got the whole real time apps playing in the background, but it doesn't hinder anything that you're doing. It's got a camera on the front. It's got a camera on the back. It's it. I know I've complained about a lot of uh, a lot of tablets we've reviewed in the past, but that's only because it's the year 2011, and you come to the tables in the year 2011 with Android 1.6, 2.0, and you. You're naming things as an, an e-reader, a tablet, you have a resistive screen, you know, like, get with the times. This is it for me. I like this. Yeah, this is, the Zoom. this is one of, in my opinion, this is a tablet that's a proper tablet. Exactly. Uh, when you look at this and the iPad, those are pretty well the best mobile devices. And in 2010, I would probably say the Samsung Galaxy Tab as well. So exactly. So between the Samsung Galaxy Tab, the Motorola Zoom, and the iPad, they're pretty well the best of the best. And it doesn't really get much better than this as far as... Um, the Motorola Zoom, although it is pricey, it's about $799 to buy the device straight up. It's Not only to mention your plan. Uh, if you live in the States, you have a f you might want to get a 4G plan from Verizon um, or wherever you get it from. And if you live in Canada, you can get plans as well. So you got to incorporate the price of month-to-month uh, -month usage on the device as well. Yeah. And I also like a lot of the, the pseudo 3D sort of effects here with the music. lots of bells and whistles on this device mm -hmm. and not to say that's all it is because it isn't but it's really nice to see some nice animations 
uh, just in your travels through the home screen and everything. Right. So again, uh, stay tuned to uh, goodyreader.com slash blog for all of the latest reviews. We will have a full review up there with Motorola Zoom. So if you prefer written reviews, you can definitely check out a lot more comprehensive information. And stay tuned to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash goodereader. And we're going to have a lot more reviews comparisons and everything else with the Motorola Zoom. One of the next videos that we're going to do is how the Motorola Zoom ranks up with the Apple iPad. And then when the iPad 2 comes out, we're going to compare the Motorola Zoom alongside the iPad 2. And that's both of the one of the best tablets of 2011. And in future videos, we're going to review the BlackBerry Playbook, uh, the LG a tablet that's coming out so stay tuned for goodie reader for all of your reviews previews and everything else on the latest generation of tablet pcs e-readers digital publishing and e-paper for good e-reader this is marcus this is nick everybody take care